Manchester fire officials say they got a call from dental and dentures saying its carbon monoxide alarm was sounding for a second day in a row. Yesterday, a malfunction in the heating unit on the roof was to blame. Today, when the fire department arrived, they detected carbon monoxide in six units, including Sully Soccer Center. And then the lady from the dentist office came over, came running over and says, I think you need to come outside. The fire department is here and we have carbon monoxide everywhere. So Anna got her coat to leave the store. The fire department came in. They said it was a low reading inside the store and they wanted me to leave for precaution. Shut off the heat and air out the store, which I did. The fire department says the U.S. Army recruiting office and dental and dentures had the highest CO levels. We went on the roof to try to find the culprit of the carbon monoxide um, and we discovered one unit that was uh, producing elevated levels of carbon monoxide. We shut that unit down as a heating unit. Within an hour, people were allowed back inside, most of them without heat until the technician could fix the rooftop unit. Ten people who had symptoms of CO exposure were checked out at the scene. Some of them showed some elevated levels of carbon monoxide, but the cure for that would be to uh, just move the fresh air, which they did. And no one was hospitalized during this incident. Also, we have no word at this point as to what's causing the CO leak in the unit on the rooftop. Also, fire officials say this is a good reminder to install carbon monoxide detectors in both your home and your business. Live in Manchester, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.